Welcome to Woke House YouTube channel. I'm your host, Kylie John Clark. I was just thinking earlier about um, how rare it is to, number one, be born a human. There are so many different realms that we could be born in that being born a human is a very precious a gift because the human realm is the only realm where we'll actually find the teachings of the Buddha and actually be able to find enlightenment. And so for myself, it, I think it was equally phenomenal that I would come in contact with such a great teacher as Lama Tuku Sori Dechi Rinpoche, the Lord of Accomplishment, Lama Tuku Sori De Dechi Rinpoche, um, He's a friend, a mentor, and my teacher. And the fact that he came into my life in the small town of Texas, little bitty town in Texas, there is no way I could have found the Dharma on my own if there wasn't some kind of previously existing um, attraction from possibly some other lifetime some kind of karmic connection to the Dharma, some kind of karmic connection to my Lama. I was running around as a cowboy. I was actually a rodeo clown for 14 years, and I was traveling all over Texas, jumping out in front of bulls and protecting cowboys when they would get thrown off the bulls and wearing grease paint and I would tell some jokes and do some clown acts, and but my main thing was protecting cowboys. I was in a few bullfights, rodeo bullfights. Uh, I never won, but I was still enjoyed it, the adrenaline of the whole thing. So I grew up, you know, a cowboy, living in small Texas towns. And the fact that I would meet a Tibetan Lama and be able to find the Dharma is unbelievable. It's such a precious gift. I spent time after I got back from India studying with my Lama. I went out in the streets and started doing meditation with the homeless community. And there was several articles written about it and they asked me to be on a few podcasts to talk about doing doing meditation with the homeless population. I've since moved on to working for various nonprofits. I've established a career working in mental health as a peer support specialist. And now I dedicate my time to studying the Dharma to my family, to my wife. I was also a terrible alcoholic and suffering from depression and anxiety. Went through a bad divorce. So all of that from a little, you know, small town rodeo clown to being able to tra travel to India, study the Dharma, to get articles written about me, to actually write a few books on Buddhism. Um, all of this is some kind of karmic connection to a past life, some kind of karmic connection to my Lama. So I just want to take you with me on this journey. As I said, we're going to build a meditation center called Woke House Community Center in San Antonio. That's a year away. So I'm just going to shoot some random videos, go video uh, some various locations in San Antonio, talk to other Buddhists. I've already sent an email to a Zen priest. And there's two Tibetan Lamas that live in San Antonio seasonally i'm gonna go see if i can interview them but all in all we're gonna have fun on this channel i want you to stay tuned remember i'm no scholar i'm no teacher i'm into buddhism i want to be liberated i want to help uh in the suffering of all sentient beings because i know this 99 percent of our suffering is right here it's that unsatisfaction with your life. It's that unsatisfaction of the present moment. We can talk about all the deep teachings in the world and we will try to cover every topic in Buddhism that we can possibly think of. 
But at the end of the day, if you're not being attacked, if you're not being abused, if you look around and things are, you know, pretty much, if you have some food in your belly, if you have a roof over your head, even if you don't, uh, you can still find happiness. You can still find satisfaction. You can still be joyful in the present moment. You may be in jail, which I probably could have wound up in jail so many times, the life that I lived. But you can find happiness. You can find happiness in a prison cell. You can find happiness in a job that you don't like. You can find happiness in a marriage that you don't think is working. Happiness is right here. Yes, you may want to change your life. You may want, you you know, I, I'm divorced. And I found the love of my life after I got divorced. I had no idea what love even was until I sobered up and I got a hold of my mind and I started getting treatment for my depression and my anxi anxiety. And then I started studying meditation and Buddhism. I met my Lama. My head started getting right. And then the universe was able to bring in the love of my life, my soulmate, my everything, my wife, Diane. Uh, she is my one and only support system. Not one and only support system, but uh, just sometimes looking at her from across the room, I fall in love all over again. And she is such a gift to me and my children. We have six kids. She has three boys and I have three girls. So the Brady Bunch. So this channel is about Buddhism. I just wanted to kind of tell you a little bit more about myself. Hopefully, um, if you get to know me and, and know a little bit about where I came from and why I treasure the teachings of the Buddha, why I feel like there's, for me, uh, I go to support groups, I went to AA, I've done a lot of things, but the teachings of the Buddha has helped me get to know myself. I was my own worst enemy, and now I'm my own best friend. Anyway, blessings, and I'll be with you on the next video. We're going to shoot a series of videos on Siddhartha Gautama Buddha. Bye.